In this video, I'll show you how to create a free Minecraft Bedrock server without doing any downloads. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it as this video did take me quite a long time to make. And please do watch this video right until the end to the full steps. And this guide is really great because it's going to work on any device as you don't need to download or run anything. You can do it on a desktop or a tablet or a phone. And without any further ado, let's go and jump straight into this. Here we are on my desktop, but as I said in the intro to this video, you can do this on any device you'd like, including your phone, including your tablet, it does not matter. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is go and open up a web browser. That could be Safari if you're on an iPhone, it may be Chrome on an Android. And then all you want to do is go and search for something called Atenos, and I'm just gonna explain what it is in just a moment. But type it in, it's A-T-E-R-N-O-S, just like so, and go and press enter. Then all you want to do is make sure you go to atenos.org, that's the official URL. Now, before we get any further, I want to quickly explain what Atenos actually is. So as you can see here, it says Minecraft servers free forever. That's what Atenos is. They have free Minecraft servers, but they're your own one. Other people won't be able to join unless you go and share the details with them, um, but they're private to you and you can have a survival world, a creative world, it's completely up to you. And you can go and check out their website if you're interested, but I'm gonna go and show you how to set one up. So come over to the right hand side and go and click on play, or you can go and click on get yours now, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go and click on play. Then it's gonna go and say, welcome to Atenos. So either you can go and sign up, or if you already have an account, you can go and sign in. Personally, I'm gonna go and click on sign up just like so. And all you need to do is go and enter a username. And then you've got to go and agree to the terms of service and the privacy policy. I've actually already read this and I'm gonna go and click on continue. Then you've got to go and set a password and you can enter an email if you'd like. Then when you're ready, go and click sign up and here we are. So when you first make your account, you're probably not gonna have any servers. So you go and click on the create a server button just here. And what the really important thing is, is at the top, you need to make sure you go and change it. Be on Java edition, go and click on Bedrock edition, Win10 PC and MCPE. Click here and then at the top, you then can go and change your IP if you'd like. So you could go and change that to say guide around one or anything. And then you can go and press this button here and it's gonna go and save it. You can also go and edit the description as well. For example, you could just go and change the color of the server by then going and pressing on the green. Then go and save that as well. Then when you're ready, you can go and click on create. Then it's gonna go and create the server and here we are. So there's quite a lot to explain here. I'm gonna try and get through it nice and quickly. So on the left hand side, we've got a ton of options. So go and click on server and it's gonna take you back to here. Then you've got the options, which is your settings essentially. And you've got your console where you can go and execute commands. You probably don't really need this. The log is just sort of everyone who joins and players is sort of the same thing. Then there's softwares and files. And at the bottom, you've got backups as well, which may be useful and access. You go and share this access with the server with other people as well, who also have an ATOS account. But the main thing and the first thing we're gonna go and do is go and click on options here and then we can go and customize our settings for Atenos and our Atenos server. So the max amount of slots you can have is 20 and that's already set. When it comes to the game mode, you can do that whatever. I want mine on survival though and difficulty is gonna be fine on easy. And the other settings are up to you if you'd like to go and change those. But once you're happy with it, go click on server again in the top left and then once you're ready, go and click on start. So as you can see, you do need to go and agree to the EULA of Mojang, which I already do, I've already agreed to it. And you can go and choose if you'd like to go and receive notifications. Personally, I'm not. And as you can see, we're now in this queue and there's quite a few it has to go down. But as you can see, it's only gonna take around three minutes and then the server's gonna be live and we can go and join it. Go and wait for this to finish and then we'll go and get into the next step once it's gone and loaded. And then you're gonna go and get this button here saying confirm now. So go and click confirm now. That's just to make sure you're not AFK and now it's gonna go and say preparing. Preparing may take a few moments, especially if you've got a brand new world as well like me as it hasn't actually loaded before so it's got to generate everything and it will let you know when it's ready. Then it's gonna go and say starting so we're pretty much there and then it's gonna go and make a sound and it's gonna say it's online. Now your server is ready to be joined and you can go and share that address and port with your friends. But of course you want to go and join it yourself. So all you want to do is go and open up Minecraft Bedrock and then you want to go into the server section or the server's menu and you want to go and add a new server. So for the address, go and put in whatever you all says here. And then you've also got to go and put the port in as well and make sure this is exactly correct as otherwise you won't be able to join. Then once you've entered the address and port, you can then go and name the server something if you'd like, and then you can go and join it. And there you go, you've gone and got a free Minecraft Bedrock server without having to download anything. It's one of the easiest methods out there and one of the best, and it's free as well, which is really, really awesome. So if you did find this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more, peace.